Good day everyone, this is Rusty Ryder. Oh, what the fuck? Ah. <laughs> How is it all going? So if you are a new viewer, welcome to my channel. So if you are a 30 subscriber, thanks for watching my video again. So today I'm gonna be talking about air fuel mixture and altitude. So why altitude? So if you don't know, pressure varies between altitude so I'm with my brother <laughs> he drives the classic 250 so where was I again <laughs> so I was talking about so when you are near sea level the greater atmospheric pressure you have compared to when you are a higher altitude for example you're in a mon mountainous area what does this do with your air so air and then pressure atmospheric pressure are directly related so the closer you are at sea meaning the more air you have for your engine so why is this important? So your engine needs air to produce power, right? But engines, especially those engines that have not been yet modified. So I found this article on the internet. So motorcycles are designed to work at an altitude near sea level and at a temperature of about 20 degrees Celsius. So they are designed for that. So this is important especially for carbureted engines. As you increase altitude, you need to adjust your jetting. Why? Because as you increase your altitude, less air is available for your engine. So meaning, when you have less air compared to the amount of fuel or fuel delivery is constant, your air fuel mixture will be richer. So what is a rich air fuel mixture? So a rich air fuel mixture is when your fuel feed is a lot more than compared to the air needed so the ideal air fuel mixture is about 12.5 equivalent mass of air into one mass of equivalent fuel so if, for example you need approximately 12.5 grams of air for you to fully combust a one gram of fuel so this alters as you increase your altitude so you will have less air if you increase altitude so that's why you need to reject your carbs so take note this only applies for carbureted engines. Why? Because fuel injected engines automatically adjust their air fuel mixture depending on what the engine needs. So for every change of 100 meter altitude, so every 100 meter increment of altitude, you lose approximately 1.5% of air available for your engine. So that's why you need to jet your carb. <laughs> so, how do you compute this? <laughs> so by the way, air fuel mixture is also affected by temperature because if the temperature increases, also your pressure increases. So that's why it is somewhat directly related. But I have a calculator below in the description where you can use it to compute your new jetting for a different altitude. So what is the basic principle for this? As you increase your altitude, your air and fuel mixture will be richened. So this is the case with my motorbike. So I haven't yet changed the jettings for this bike because I don't know what jet the carburetor on this bike comes with in stock configuration. So I haven't changed anything yet from this bike. So it runs rich. So I checked the spark plug on this one a few months back and it's dark. So meaning it runs rich. Sorry about that. So I'm about 370-ish meters above sea level. So assuming it has a 120, number 120 main jet on it. So if you are gonna use my calculator, it, I need to change my main jet to a smaller one. It's approximately 100, number 118. So basically, this is what it all implies. If you are living on a higher altitude, so you need to change your main jets to smaller ones so that your air and fuel mixture will remain optimal Ninja 650 <laughs> well anyways the lesson for this video is if you're living in a higher altitude therefore you must change your jets into a smaller one so if you have any questions, 
leave a comment down below so if you have any clarifications also you may leave them below so if you have learned something from this video please like give thumbs up and if you want to see more of videos like this or if you enjoy the video don't forget to subscribe by long <laughs>